Welcome to this brief introduction to fan fiction, part of the Learning Through Doing module on teaching with fan fiction developed by the Fan Tales Project. Before we talk about fan fiction, it helps to know what is meant by fan. So here's a definition by a scholar in fan studies, a subfield of media studies. A fan is a person with a relatively deep, positive emotional conviction about someone or something famous. Certain types of fans express their enthusiasm for the thing they are a fan of in different creative ways, including through the writing of fan fiction. So, what exactly is fan fiction? There are different definitions depending on your perspective or experience. Here's one that I like. Fan fiction is writing that continues, interrupts, reimagines, or just riffs on stories and characters other people have already written about. This definition opens the door to a great deal of different types of fan fiction, as you'll soon see. But before I go into different types of fan fiction, I wanted to point you to a great resource, fanlore.org. This is a fandom wiki and a useful resource for learning more about different types of fan fiction and where you can search for definitions and examples of other fan terms. So fan fiction, like other types of fiction, comes in various forms and flavors. Here's just a brief list of some popular types of fan fiction. Short fic stands for short fiction. This includes drabbles, which are fan fiction stories that are exactly 100 or sometimes 200 words long. Another kind of short fic, which is found among Sherlock Holmes fans, are 221Bs. These are named in honor of 221B Baker Street, the address where Sherlock Holmes and John Watson lived. And these stories are exactly 221 words, but the last word must begin with the letter B. Fix It Fic, like the name suggests, is fan fiction which fixes something in the book, movie, or television show the fan was not happy with. This includes saving a favorite character from death, fixing a factual error that the author made, or rewriting something entirely. Prequels or sequels are fan fiction written to continue the story. Prequels allow fans to explore certain characters or events from before the story officially began, while sequels allow fans to continue the story that they're not ready to say goodbye to. Missing moments are, are fan fiction that allow fans to explore what certain characters were doing off screen while the focus of the original story was on the hero or other main characters. They also allow fans to explore the experiences and perspectives of minor characters. A related type of fan fiction is alternate point of view, POV fan fiction. These are stories or scenes from a story told from a different character's point of view. They can be useful as a way of exploring a different character's way of thinking. The next two types of fan fiction let fans explore how changing major elements of a character can affect a story. Gender bending includes stories where the, where the gender of a character is changed. For instance, what if Harry Potter had been a girl? Race bending explores a change in a character's ethnicity. Fusion is a kind of fan fiction that combines or fuses elements from two or more stories. For instance, what if Sherlock Holmes and John Watson were students with Harry Potter at Hogwarts School of Wizardry and Witchcraft? Finally, alternate universe, or AU stories, allow fans to place their favorite characters in very different settings or universes. For instance, Coffee Shop AU lets you explore what would happen if your favorite characters were working at a local coffee shop. Other popular AUs include Time Changes. For example, what if your favorite story took place in a different century? Fan fiction can be found in many different online communities, and these include fan fiction archives or storytelling platforms. For example, fanfiction.net, wattpad.com, and archive of our own. So what about fan fiction and language learning? If you're interested in learning more, here are a few research studies to get started. Black 2009 reports on case studies of English language learners who've used fan fiction to develop their media literacy and language skills in the digital wilds. 
Brunel reports on the relevance of using fan fiction in the French classroom for developing writing skills and includes examples from recent courses. Curwood is a case study of the literary and linguistic practices of a fan who wrote fusion fan fiction that merged Harry Potter and The Hunger Games as part of an online competition. Sorrow 2017 is a review of online fan practices, including fan fiction, and research into the use of these fan practices to support language learning and literacy. And finally, Sorrow and Sunmark provide a critical examination of the implementation and outcomes of collaborative blog-based fan fiction in an advanced university English class. For more background reading, you can also consult the references used in this brief in introduction. And now that you've had a quick introduction to fan fiction, it's time to test yourself with these three questions to see what you recall.